Alright guys, today I'm back with some murky gameplay, and it looks like we're on Dragonshire, which is my least favorite map, but we'll see if we can make this work. We have Kel'Thuzad, not Kel'Thuzad, Kel'Thas, Murky, Gazlo, Blaze, and Falstaff versus Asmodan, Illidan, Chilgal, and Thrall. I think I'm gonna go for a fishy deal. We're gonna try to just push the lane. We have an advantage here because Cho'Gall is technically two people in one body. We should be able to out lane them because of that. I'm hoping. Oh, I need to put my egg down. Put that about right here. That way nobody can sneak to it easily. All right, I picked up a fishy deal. So what we need to do is get kills with our W, which is our puffer fish, so that we get bribe stacks. So what you usually want to do is use your Q, which is your slime, and then put your puffer fish down after like a second or so, so you can slime again and you'll get stacks that way. Unfortunately, I only got two there because I didn't do it as well as I could have. So anyway, our Q is our slime. It's an AoE that slows for 20%. Our W is our pufferfish. You throw a fish down and after a short duration, it explodes. Now, this can be focused by enemy team members and if it's killed before it explodes, it won't do any damage. Our E is called safety bubble. When we pop it, we become invulnerable for two seconds and our D is called spawn egg and this pretty much allows you to place an egg where murky will spawn from when he dies now murky has a lower spawn time than other heroes he respawns in eight seconds oh he's gonna kill it in eight seconds as long as he has his egg on the map and when murky dies he's only worth 2.5 percent of a normal kills experience Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have some issues with this Illidan. Talents upgrade your hero in a multitude of ways. All right, at level four, I am going to go for slime time. When you slime an enemy hero after sliming ten times on enemy heroes, it'll increase the damage of our Q by 125. Now, when we get to I believe it's 20, it'll increase the slow from 20% to 30. I feel like these guys are pretty mealy, so we sh should be able to get stacks on this. Okay, faster than- oh no, I did before. This is actually my fourth game on Murky today, and we've won the first three. So that's pretty good. We're gonna try to help our Falstead here. There we go. I'm trying not to kill these minions off quickly so that we can get some stacks. Unfortunately, Illidan is focusing my pufferfish and he has a pretty fast basic attack speed so he's destroying them pretty easily. <laughs> Smart. I was hoping he would like keep attacking me while I was in the range of my pufferfish, but he's smart and he backed up so that he wouldn't get hit by all that damage. It actually does a decent amount. It says 300 health at target point. Wait. Uh. Alright, at level 7, we are going to go for Black Lagoon. Lagoon. So we're gonna increase the radius of our slime by, I believe it said 30%. It will make it easier for us to hit people with our slime when they're running away. It'll make it easier for us to hit the whole minion wave with our slime. Oh, I thought I could get him. That was my bad. I, I could have gotten him had I been paying attention, which I wasn't because I was trying to get minions. Huh. We 
we are at four stacks, which, you know, isn't that great. I believe, do, is it consecutive? It might be consecutive heroes. Slimed heroes that are already slimed. So we have to slime someone twice to get a stack. I think I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna pick up our siege. Maybe I can grab theirs. They might see me though. All right, we got it. They didn't stop us. Asmodan and Illidan are down here. Hit you. Unfortunately, he walked out of my pufferfish radius. Also, if Asmodan puts his laser on you, you can cancel that out by using your safety bubble. I don't have any stacks right now. I'm kind of trying to stay down here so that I can pick up that other siege camp, but it's going to take me a minute to actually get enough. Now, I feel like Octograb would be great against Illidan. Essentially what you want to do is uh, throw your fish and then get him, but I don't know if he took enough damage yet. No, it doesn't look like it. But that is a good counter for Illidan. Unfortunately, I just used it too early. I, I should have tried to get more damage on him with my basic attacks or my Qs before grabbing him there. Octograb is a stun pretty much for, I believe it's three seconds. Uh, I think we're gonna go to the top lane to try and get this uh, shrine. It looks like Thrall's up here. Yeah, he is. I don't have rejuvenating bubble, so he's gonna be able to keep me off at this point. Don't get discouraged. But my egg is right there, so we'll be right back. That guy didn't read the patch notes. It looks like Cho'Gal is keeping our teammate from actually channeling the dragon. No way is that going to kill him. <laughs> he has so much health. And he has a trait that will actually give him more armor, I believe, but I'm not sure which one he has activated. We are going to go down here and try to grab this siege camp. Since we have two stacks, might as well try to push the bottom lane out a little bit. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to try to help my teammates with this altar. Um. Oh, I was hoping I could break it before they were able to channel, but it doesn't look like it. Alright, that's okay. We can, we can easily kill this. We are going to go for Rejuvenating Bubble. Can we kill him? Do we have enough damage? Yes, we do. Alright, now we need to chase down the Dragon Knight right now. We're going to go ahead and heal up a little bit here. My egg is right there. That's bad. That's really bad. Alright, we are at six stacks on our level one quest. So that's moving along a little bit. Yeah, a little bit slow for my taste, but I mean, we'll get there, hopefully. 
We have one stack of bribes. The only camps on the map at the moment are bruiser camps, so they will actually take four stacks. Uh, maybe we should stay in the top lane. Where did I miss a talent that I usually take? Where is it? Where is it? I feel like I did. I'm trying to figure out what talent here that's at. Usually I take an ability that casts slime at the pufferfish location. And if I actually have that, I'm gonna feel kind of stupid. But, uh, I don't think I do. Hang on. No. I realize that they're pushing our middle lane in right now. Okay, we didn't get it yet. It's right here. Fish oil. They might rotate up here for me. It won't be long before the shrines are ready for the time. Alright, unfortunately I don't think we're going to be able to get this fort before the objective starts. We know that the enemy team is close because they just picked up their bruiser My camp. Is dead. Remind this kingdom of his strength. I really don't think we can kill a Cho'Gal at full health. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. All we can do there is delay. Looks like our team members are going to be able to pick up the bottom shrine pretty easily, though. Just trying to uh, keep them from getting this unfortunately our puffer fish is I mean not our puffer fish our egg is right here that is a big problem why did he get pushed out of that oh it was a uh, gall gall probably used shove okay I'm like that doesn't make sense trying to help guys with this illidan will we be able to stop him Yes, we will. All right. We have our bubble. He's going to kill me, though. What did Gazlo go for? Is he a robo Gazlo or is he in a black hole Gazlo? I don't know. Good job, team. All right. So I'm going to run down to the middle lane and I'm going to try to pick up this dragon. I hate being the dragon, just so we're clear. I guess we'll just go middle. This is not what you should be doing with the dragon. Always go top or bottom, but Gazlo's about to get that anyway, so we're just gonna not. That way we can take down all of their forts. Still would have been a better strategy to focus on one of the keeps instead. I always try to stand off to the side so that both towers aren't hitting me when I'm in the Dragon Knight. Oh no, Falstead flew right in. It's okay, he should be able to get away. What did he, uh, what did he take? Hinterlands Blast. There was something else I wanted to check, but I don't remember what it was particularly. We did it! Good job, Falstead. Um, there's one camp on the map that we could go and try to get. And it's not that one.
They might be down here, if I had to guess. Considering it's the only thing to be doing on the map right now. Hi. No! Oh well, I will take an Illidan kill over a murky kill any day. Also, now there's two siege camps available in the bottom lane. I have three stacks of my bribes, so I can get one and a half of those. Nice job! Alright. Let's get some camps going here. Looks like Gazlo is getting that siege camp as we speak. I know. Oh man, I'm doing too much damage to these things now to get the stacks. There is a bruiser camp in the top lane, but I only have one stack. So... Uh, Gasol's middle, so he'll probably be able to pick that up. Maybe not. Alright, nice job, Falstad. You got an Illidan kill. That's great. I'm gonna go directly to the building here. I was trying to kick. I was trying to kick Thrall into our teammates. There doesn't look like it worked. I think I just wasted the Dragonite too. I got the pufferfish off, although it looks like it got destroyed instantaneously. You know what? I feel like I wasted that because I pretty much did. But they didn't get it, so that's a win in some sorts, anyways. It looks like Gazlo is doing a great job at pushing the top lane in. It looks like he might be able to get the middle fort. Maybe not. No, he's going to be able to do that. And we're back. This should be GG. Just focus the building here. Alright, GG, guys. That is a decent game on Murky for me, I guess. We won. We had good teammates there. Alright, let's see how much damage I actually did. I did 31,000 hero damage, 158,000 siege damage. I did okay. Here's the build if you wanted to know how I built. But as always, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!